Waxahachie ISD is a growing school district that embraces innovative curriculum and teaching methods while still honoring our traditions of excellence. Our academic programs and exceptional teachers and staff allow every student to excel on every campus every day. Waxahachie ISD's fine arts, athletic, career and technical education, and other extracurricular programs are respected throughout the state for their long histories of success. We are proud to be a vital part of the city of Waxahachie as we work hard each day to educate the next generation of our city's leaders. We are Hatchie forever. Well tried. I'm Jamie with Lettering Vibes and Hippie Dyes and our journey began several years ago. I would do chalk drawings in the driveway um, and pose our children in these photos or pictures and um, I remember being so excited to open up a brand new box of Crayola sidewalk chalk. All the colors and thinking of all the possibilities of the drawings I could make and pose our children in these pictures. And um, I enjoyed that so much and Texas weather is, you never know if it's going to be, you know, it's Texas. Um, so my husband ended up installing a floor to ceiling wall to wall chalkboard in our kitchen. And this allowed me to continue with chalk and I took on chalk lettering. I learned um, different font styles and layouts and different techniques on sharpening your chalk or using an eraser, um, how to decorate a font and all the possibilities, how many ways an alphabet could be written. Um, so it started with chalk and I loved it. I took online classes and tutorials learning more and um, that led me to, um, in 2019, I was asked by, I think, three people that spring um, to do a chalkboard for a senior or a birthday or a baby announcement. And these chalkboards sold at the craft stores, they're not the same texture as the concrete or the wall in our kitchen. They're slick. And I, ha I remember having such a hard time. Um, they brought me wet markers instead of chalk. So we're working with two different textures here and um, this senior chalkboard that I was doing, it was just a little sign for a photo and I remember struggling and having the hardest time with these markers and I'm like, I don't understand why can't I get this? And I just kept reading and doing more online classes on lettering and textures. I finally got it down and that led me to playing and creating with different inks and paints and markers on different styles of papers and I would was still taking online classes learning font styles and layouts and um, how many different ways the alphabet could be created and um, so I had all these paper drawings and I had fun creating it um, I've always been a creator I've always had my hand in a craft or two and then it was like well what am I supposed to do with all these paper drawings what with all these papers you know and um, so I was like, okay, let's, let's go with t-shirts. So um, before I even knew the graphic side of it, anything, I would scan my paper drawings into the computer and try to edit them the best I could. Um, and we learned what, what printing process is, what, you know, what materials would be needed, what would be the best for our income that we could afford. Um, and so we went with sublimation printing. Um, I remember when... I was trying to learn the graphic side and learning how to vectorize or remove a background and I pulled an all-nighter. I was so frustrated. I could not understand why I could not get this down and my husband just kept saying, you'll get it. You're going to get this um, and it finally clicked and I was like, okay, let me try this three more times. I got this, right? I got this and so that just led to more graphic design classes and um, continuing to print t-shirts and, you know, growing and growing. And a few years ago when we had a major ice storm, I got sucked into watching TikTok videos on tie-dyes. It was, it was mesmerizing watching the whole process of how paint or how color and, and folding a shirt can create a beautiful pattern and all the different processes. There's still so many processes for tie-dyeing. And so I, I determined, I was like, you know, I think it's time for the next step instead of just t-shirts. What, what, what else can we add to the mix? Let's do tie-dyes. So we started off and in our kitchen. Uh, we had tie-dye bottles everywhere. It was messy. It was fun. 
it was a learning process. There was lots of trial and error, just like with anything. And um, finally got it down. And um, then my husband said, I think it's time for you to leave the kitchen table with this mess. So he, he built this shop for me and it allows me to be creative and messy. And um, it has been an awesome journey. Uh, we're still learning and trying new things. And you know, you're never too old to, to stop growing. The year I turned into a business was the year of all the chalkboards. And I would do it for free just because I loved having a creative outlet. But this year, you know, we had three chalkboard signs that were needed. And I jokingly told, told our friends and family, y'all gonna start paying for this. And so that's when I came up with lettering vibes, letters with vibes, and um, decided to have a business. I started off with an Etsy shop and sold some t-shirts with hand-created designs and sold um, hand-created fonts on Etsy as well. And um, after Etsy, uh, I ran an in-home childcare business for 10 years. And when COVID hit, we it was time for us to, to close our doors. Um, our kids are older, they needed me to have a more flexible schedule. And I was, I was here at the house, I couldn't take them to school, I couldn't pick them up if they were sick. Um, and so it, it was time to close our doors. So that first year I substitute taught and went to lots of schools, met lots of teachers, and I was always wearing one of our shirts. And a teacher would either need my, my number to sub for them or they liked my shirt. So um, it then grew by, by word of mouth. Um, but from the, in the beginning when, when it was just drawings and, and chalk, it is, it's scary putting yourself out there and but you love it you created it and so people loved seeing that they loved seeing the chalk drawings and that i would sit at the kitchen table for an hour and draw hand lettering before uh kids started showing up and so it, it is hard to grow it as a business but you just have to promote, promote yourself you have to you know you post about anything but um showing your artwork and and showing what you're doing, people are intrigued by that. And they like seeing art and processes and how things work. Um, so, you know, I'd post to Instagram and Facebook. Now I do a lot of TikTok videos just because anything's fun with music and you can do a time lapse and tell a story within 30 seconds of how we did this, how we created this, how we did this shirt, how we did this dye. And I'll post our TikTok videos to Instagram and Facebook. Um, and people, people love seeing that. They love seeing that we created that. And, you know, I don't just buy wholesale that I'm taking my time and my creativity to make this shirt, you know, one of a kind and, and different for our customers. So after um, the paper drawings and after I learned more on designs and, and um, I figured it was time to, to get an iPad and learn how to digitally create. And it made the process so much easier. On paper, I mean, if you mess up, you're either having to erase or start over. Um, and it's just wasted material. Where on an iPad, you have every marker, any kind of pen patterns on one little Apple pen. One year, I got an entire school of teachers for back to school shirts. Every grade, specials, the office. I was so excited to get that one school. Um, and by word of mouth, it just keeps growing because I. I photograph everything. I post everything. Look at this week's creations. This week's groovy graphic tees we created or these custom requests. And um, this last year, I not only just had one school in Moxahatchee, I had multiple schools, Midlothian, Red Oak. We were reaching people in Plano, Hillsboro. I mean, it is outstanding how just posting, people see that, they share it. You get more followers, you're getting more business. And so our, our, our business went from one, taking on one entire school to multiple schools. And um, so this summer was very busy. We were, I was up from sunup until sundown. Um, so our bleaches do require sun and um, I would utilize every ounce of sun I could get. Um, they have to be washed and dried before printing. So um, summer is definitely our busier season getting ready for back to school. Uh, but it has been neat how we have reached people, not just in Waxahachie, but growing, you know, outside the community and even in the Plano area.